Hi guys, this is Lynn over at GLH2. Give you a little update and background on the site development here. You can see the buildings coming along pretty good. Um, greenhouse, kind of at a standstill right now on it because we're more focused on trying to get the hops in the hop yard hooked up. You can see that we've got the, the water main run all the way out to the hop yard. Two wells, both of them uh, hooked together variable speed drives capable of giving us about a hundred gallons a, a minute if we really needed it um, for future expansion. Um, this plot that we decided to develop for the hop yard was previously this farm was previously rented out to farmers for 50 years and was not maintained or properly cared for um, so one of the first things we did when we came in was is we uh, subsoiled it deep um, good 30 inches or so and followed up with chisel plow and repeated disking um, there were no herbicides applied to this uh, here all of the weeds that are gone now have been just mechanically cultivated out you see we got some touch up to do around poles and stuff like that with weed killer but for the most part simple tilling took care of everything else um, we're scheduled to get the cabling and everything else up um, here in the next week or so, um, which would be cool. Um, also, um, we're starting to, to lay out the rows. Um, this is a design that we call a split uh, 13. In other words, uh, the poles are every 26 feet apart in rows, and there is one row in between at 13 feet where there are no poles. Um, about three acres, I think, is something this for this test yard. So. Um, you can see the green down at the end is the field where uh, we didn't till it, so you can get an idea of how much weed we were talking about being in there. It's a lot. So anyway, things are progressing. Right now we're laying down uh, some gypsum in the rows. We're putting down about two ton to the acre of gypsum since we have pretty heavy clay here in some spots. Um, and we're also putting down about the equivalent of 150 pounds of nitrogen in that same banded area of each row. Once we get that in, we'll incorporate that. We'll be sticking in the plant material and hopefully within like the next 10 days, hopefully we've got some hops standing up in here, which would be really cool. Thanks.